everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Leonice here and it is Mask Monday, which means it is time to do a first impression video for a new mask today. Um, but before we get into the mask, make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below and then click the little bell to make sure you're notified for all of my future uploads. All right, so today, the mask of choice is the, Ethi the Body Shop Ethiopian Honey Deep Nourishing Mask. I picked this sample up for $5 at Ulta. The full size sells for $28 and it's 2.7 ounces, whereas this is just 0.19 ounces. And this mask, it says that it is... I'm just gonna read the details to you off of Ulta's page. Cocoon your skin and moisture with the Body Shop Ethiopian Honey Deep Nourishing Mask. Inspired by African healing and soothing rituals, our 100% vegetarian indulgent melting honey face mask drills together community trade honey, marula, and olive oils for a luxurious experience. It's also been formulated without parabens, paraffin, silicone, or mineral, mineral oil. With an irresistible scent, this face mask leaves skin feeling supremely nourished and replenished and rested. For the instructions, it says remove your makeup and cleanse your skin, which I've already done prior to recording this video. It says next, smooth an even layer of the honey face mask onto the face using the Body Shop Facial Mask Brush, which I don't have or fingers. I do have those. Being careful to avoid the eye and lip area. Apply to neck if desired. Leave for five to ten minutes and then finish by rinsing off with warm water. For best results use two to three times a week. Okay so we are going to open this on up and I did some research to make sure that I could use this on my skin and just not, and it wouldn't break it out. So all the reviews I said in um, some other places, it said that it was for, safe for sensitive skin. So we're gonna see, hopefully, you know, it's fine because I gotta go to work tomorrow and I do not wanna go to work with a whole bunch of bumps on my face from my breakout. Okay, so it smells, it smells pretty good. It kinda smells like honey. I'm trying to get this open. But it also kinda smells like Okay, so it smells like <laughs> kind of like hair grease, but it's not too bad. It's not horrible. It's not the best, but I can deal with this on my face. All right, y'all. So make sure that before, if you're using your hands, make sure your hands are clean. You do not want to transfer any dirt and grime from the day onto your face when applying a mask or in general. All right, let's apply this to the face. And here is the formula. As you can see, it's, it really looks like hair gel, the consistency of it, and it's the color of honey. So yeah, let's work with this. Let's see what we gonna, what's gonna happen here. Okay, it feels very smooth on, and let me see something. Okay. I like the way it feels on my skin. It feels feels like a gel, a light gel. It's not it's not heavy at all. And as when I'm putting it on, like the smell, it smells better than it does in the packaging, to be honest. I like the way this feels. I'm just really praying that this is not result in a breakout. <laughs> Just an FYI, this is not an exfoliating mask. This is just a nourishing mask to bring moisture back to your skin. So don't buy this one thinking that you are going to exfoliate any dead skin, but we should, hopefully my skin will feel clean. And oh, I think I just dropped some of the product. No, but I have the mask applied to my face. We're gonna let this sit for five minutes, maybe 10. Let me see. Yeah, we're gonna let it sit for five minutes and I'll be back in five minutes to rinse this off and tell you how I feel about it. Okay, so I've had this mask on for eight minutes now and 
it was feeling cool at first on my face like temperature wise but now it's just kind of feeling I don't know kind of sticky and I don't know it's kind of weird it just feels like I have something just sitting on my face just kind of like gunk but not like bad gunk it just feels kind of just heavy not just like super duper heavy it just it's weird. It, like, it, like I said, I guess the best way to describe it is that it feels sticky after this amount of time. Like around minute four or five, it was still feeling kind of cool, but now I just feel like it's time to get this off my face. So we're going to do a quick rinse and then we're going to see what's ha what happens, what we're looking like. Okay, so as I was wiping it off, where's my light? Okay, as I was wiping it off, oh, did I get my hair wet a little bit? I hope not. As I was wiping it off, it... <laughs> The gel formula came back. It was jelly like as I was, um, once the water hit it and I started wiping off my face. And I feel like the more, that's when the nourishing properties like really started to come out. And my skin feels uh, dry. Not like, it feels, maybe not dry, but it feels still kind of sticky. And it feels very soft and a little bit dry on this side. But I'm I'm ready to moisturize my skin now. And did I not get it all off my forehead? No, I did. Okay. You definitely have to moisturize after using this. And my skin, as y'all know, is on the dry is definitely on the dry side. And I'm going to use my Aquaphor to moisturize. But it's not a bad mask. I don't see myself using this mask again. But it it is a mask that. If you need that nourishment and if you want to if you want your skin to feel soft because I think my skin out of all the masks I've tried this month my skin definitely feels the softest after using this one but I just I don't think I really like the way it felt on as it was working so that would be the reason why I would not use this one again or maybe not as often but I don't see myself buying this in a full size I might buy another sample if I feel like my skin is just really dry and needs this extra nourishment and just because my skin does feel super duper soft right now but that's it for mask Monday today make sure you, I'm gonna have a poll requesting uh, which mask I should review next week so make sure you answer the poll and in the meantime, y'all have a good week and I will see you back here. I think I'll be back on Thursday because I think I'm going to start my Bad Time Win series, which is just story time. I think I'm going to start that on Thursday and you'll get a story at least once a month, maybe twice. But if you don't see me back here on Thursday, you'll see me here on Friday. Um, but yeah, y'all have a good week. And y'all be safe out there in these streets. See you later.